Hey there everybody, this is Franco and I have a quick update for you on the WorkBee CNC router project. First of all, thank you for uh, everyone who sent me a comment or a suggestion uh, trying to inform me about routers and spindles and also a bunch of you had good suggestions on how to configure this uh, spoiler board uh, situation and uh, so I think I finally made a little bit of progress with that and I want to talk about it. So very quickly what I've done here is uh, I've, I've disassembled the router and fastened it to the, to the table a little differently. So I've taken these, these supports out that, um, just get rid of these here. These supports would have gone, oh, I guess we, would, we could say they would go through the y-axis. I'll just put these over here, good. They would have gone through the, the y-axis and they would normally would tie everything together and then your your spoil board would sit on top of those supports and uh, that made the router really rigid but what happened is it, it limited the travel to like just over two inches in the z-axis so that kind of bothered me and I've, you know, I've been sitting here staring at this thing trying to figure out a different way to do this and uh, what I you know what I realized is is the the z-axis has like five inches of travel and I'm thinking, I'm like, wow, wouldn't it be cool if I could use all five inches of travel? I know the router is not going to be quite as rigid when you have that, you know, z-axis all the way down. But um, hey, you know, you, you can never have too much travel. So I wasn't happy with that spoil board configuration, only having like just over two inches of travel. So I read all your suggestions and comments, and they were really helpful, and sort of led me down this path. And like I said, what I did is I took these vertical or y-axis kind of oriented supports out. I uh, disassembled the router. I took all these T-nuts out of the back. And what I've done is I've, I've used the T-nuts and I fastened the router right down to the uh, table that I built. So now the router is physically part of the table. And that was super easy to do. I just used some of the, you know, the brackets that came with it. And I used some nice, big, heavy-duty wood screws going to the three-quarter inch plywood. And yeah, that thing is tied together really nice and tight. It's very rigid. You know, I'm, there, there's nothing about this that feels flimsy to me. So I'm really happy with mounting the router directly to the uh, work table. Now what I can do is... You know, instead of having to figure out a way to fasten the spoil board to the, you know, the extrusion, the, the frame here, I can just fasten the spoil board right to the, uh, you know, the wooden table. So I can, you know, I can slide, I could probably get a half inch piece of MDF underneath here, even if I, even if I want it to protrude out beyond the, the frame of the router, you know, whatever. So, so I could put, you know, a piece of MDF right on here. That could be my spoil board. You know, if I want to, build it up a little bit. I could stack up a few pieces of MDF or build like a little vacuum uh, box or something, you know, whatever. But I have five inches of travel now to work with, so I can do a lot of different things. And that was, um, you know, that for me, that was a big deal. So I am extremely happy now. I can, I can use the full five inches of Z-axis travel on my, uh, my work B router once I get this thing going. And um, it's going to be a lot easier for me to deal with the spoil board situation, too, because it's really easy to figure out how to fasten wood to wood. But when I was, you know, trying to think about how to get it all, you know, here on the aluminum extrusion, that was a little bit, eh, just a little bit more complicated. I know there's plenty of people that do it that way, but I'm, uh, I'm going to try this and see how it works out. So we'll, we'll see. In, in a couple of videos, I, I may be regretting this, but right now I'm... I'm pretty stoked. So there you go. Uh, work B router. I think the next step is uh, to get the centroid acorn in there and get this thing, get these motors turning. That'll, that'll be the next project. So hopefully the next video, this thing will be under power and moving. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Like I said, I appreciate all your comments and suggestions and uh, see you again soon.